rotational presidency will end section agitation. Southern senators reveals. This Southern senator say, almost every one of them, I don't want to say every one of them because there are some lone voices, you know, who are speaking, but because they are alone, it makes it very hard for their voices to be heard. So I don't want to use the word the whole of them, but most of them, they need to be flowed on a more serious note. They need to be seriously dealt with. These men and women we are elected if our vote counted or we were the one that voted them in to go and represent the interest of the people. But should I tell you what they are doing? They are going about lobbying their northern counterparts so that they can make them ministers, they can give them other positions, or they can come back as senators, as House of Rep members. You know, because in Nigeria, does our vote really count? Let's be very honest. Does it really count? So this is what they are doing. And so this, the North will say, okay, so when we are passing this bill, you will have to be quiet. You say, no problem. It's not just to be quiet. Uh, the people do not even know what is going on. These are people that are supposed to be representing the interest of the South, you see. So these are some of the things ongoing. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Rotational presidency will end section agitation. Southern senators. Senators from the southern part of the country have backed the governors from the region on their own unanimous decision on rotational presidency, describing the measure as the best political arrangement that can unify the country, unify the country and correct the faulty lines. The governors has through a communion revealed that they revealed that after their meeting in Lagos on Monday, among other things, reiterated the need for the zone to produce the next president of the country come 2023. The federal lawmakers ought that following the presidency to rotate between the north and the south will naturally quench the section agitation being piled up by some individuals and group going on. The Southern Senators Forum, in a statement by its chairman, Senator Okweyemi, on Wednesday, commended the governors for, the, for coming out boldly to take decisions, which he said will go a long way to address the political challenges confronting the region. The Ekiti Central Sanitarial District Senator said, As much as we believe that counterparts and competence and not religion and religionism should be the watchword in which we in, in who becomes the president of this nation we need to also circulate of circulate and make it known in our entirety that the political punity and think about the best way to further unite us as a people the event of the recent times where insecurity, section agitation, and others have fully further divided us and become more relevant in today's matter. We need to look out for our best ways to solve this problem, the crisis and the interest of the nation at large. Nigeria has never been this divided and the current pillar situation that has pushed our country to the verge of collapse recently is unnecessary the governor's decision and it sh should be taken and seen seriously in a narrow spectrum we can all begin to fight about ourselves and flame the fans of disunity promoting religiosity and ethnicity but if we look beyond that and begin to work as one then we stand a better sh chance rotational presidency will resolve most of the political problems and will naturally word of section agitation being promoted by some individuals and groups the senators posted that the governors thought right by placing ban on the open grazing system of cattle rearing in their respective states via the system of anti-grazing laws saying the country must move to the ties of modality rather than dwelling in the past years ago so the governor, the senators 
in the region of the south now are beginning to wake up because they've been in a very deep sleep you see so the sleep has been a very deep one and um, right now these are beginning to things are beginning to look up as they're beginning to see that for everybody and for everything to go well we all have to work together as one the senators now are speaking and are saying it is important it is expedient that you know everybody begin to work as one everybody begins everybody begins to see that it is important you know to back the southern governors what did the southern governors say and what have they done in recent times the southern governors came together and says we need to end this open grazing it is causing a lot of insecurity some people pose themselves as uh, fulani headsmen but we know that they are not true fulani headsmen uh even if they are true there is a lot going on with the fulani headsmen uh, regime that you cannot begin to you know quantify again they went on to also say that uh, the presidency should be returned now <clears throat> saying that this will end agitation but looking at the whole matter is that what nigerians really want because if you look at the whole system and everything that is happening nigerians are really and truly seriously tired nigerians are tired the current spree of insecurity and all that is going on, the lopsided appointments and everything that is happening has put Nigerians in that space to say, you know what, it's about time. Let's go on our own to your tent, O Israel. You know, let's go on our own. But these things and these people and everything that is happening has constantly shown that, shown that Nigerians, you know, are really in a place where they, they have been boxed. And to come out of this, we all need to work together as one. There is no, it's not my business, it's their business, it's your business. No, no, no. It's a, it's a, it's a unity game. That's how we win. We work together flawlessly. That's how we overcome. When we begin to distinguish between ourselves and say, it's not my business, it's his business, it's her business, it's their business. Oh, oh, oh. Watch it. We are not positioning ourselves at all for a better opportunity to defend these things that are going on. But when we stand up together in the voice called unity, then we make a chance. This is the issue. When we see ourselves as one, when we work together as one, then we stand a chance. A very good one at that. But if we don't and we leave everything to chance, we will be leaving ourselves to, I mean, to anything that comes, you see. So, rotating the presidency, is that what really Nigerian wants? Or is, or is the choice of some other persons? However this case may be, we would like to hear from you. Please leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember that you have a voice. You do have a voice. Let it count. Okay? Let your voice be heard. God bless you. Do have a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now. Don't forget, you are important. You're very important. God bless you. Bye.